Hi, Celine LaTulip here, and today I'm going to show you how to use for loops in EarSketch to repeat rhythms that you create using the make beat method. So let's get started. I have this repeat beat script that I've created here, and you can see at the top that there are comments here. Remember that comments are ignored by EarSketch. This is a way that you can give um, information in your code that other people can see and read, and the computer just totally ignores it. Anything that starts with these double, da uh, double slashes. So my script is repeat beat.js. It's JavaScript. I'm the author, and the description is that this is an example to demonstrate repeating make beat using for loops. So what I have here is, of course, the init uh, method call, which has to be there, and the set tempo is at 130 beats per minute. And then I've got two um, sound samples fit onto the digital audio workstation. This um, electronic dance music analog pluck, which starts, which is on track one, starts at measure one and goes up to measure 13. And then um, this trap main 808 beat, which is on track two, starts at measure three and goes up to measure 13. So let's just run this and see how this looks and have a little quick listen. Okay, so that's the uh, two tracks that we have right now. And then I have some um, make beats here that have been commented out. So the first one is a 16 beat pattern. Um, there are 16 beats per measure in here. So if I uncomment this make beat, we're using the hip hop solo moog lead sample for this and it's going to take the first little bit of that sample this is on track going to be on track three starting at measure four and here's the pattern so again the zero um, says play a bit of the sample the plus says play a little bit more the dashes say make a pause so this is what's creating our pattern and you can see here that it's 16 beats worth of pattern so if i just run this right now we'll see that this pattern has been added here at measure four on the third track. And we can take a listen to how this sounds. Okay, so we've created this little rhythm, but we're not really hearing it as a rhythm yet because it hasn't repeated. So make beat doesn't repeat by itself. You have to add some programming structure to make it repeat and tell it how often you want it to repeat and where. The way that we do this is by creating a for loop, which is a version of programmatic repetition. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to type for, and I have to put three things inside of these round brackets, and then I end this with squiggly braces and put squiggly braces down here and I tab this in. So basically, we're going to have a for loop and we're gonna put some stuff in here to say how that loop is controlled and everything inside of these squiggly braces is going to be repeated depending on what I put inside these round brackets. So there's three parts to a for loop. The first part is creating a, an index variable that is um, initialized and that's what controls the repetition. So we say var to create a variable. We're gonna call this one x and we're gonna set it to zero initially. So var x equals zero. That's the first part. And then we're gonna say, let's repeat this until X is, how many times do we want to repeat this? Maybe we'll repeat this pattern eight times. So let's repeat this, um, keep on going until X is eight. So X less than eight, this is like the continuation condition. As long as X is less than eight, we're gonna keep on repeating what's in the loop. Once X is equal to or greater than eight, the loop won't happen anymore. We won't keep repeating. And then we have to say, how do we want x to change each time we go through the loop? And what we want to do is have x increment by one or increase by one. The way that we say that is we say x equals x plus one. So let's, um, this will make this make beat repeat. It's gonna repeat eight times, but we have to do one more thing to make this work. It's going to be on track three. It's gonna use this sample, the hip hop sample, but it's always going to put it at measure four. If we repeat this eight times, it's just going to eight times overwrite 
the notes in measure four. And that's not what we want to happen. We want the first time for it to put the pattern in measure four. The next time we want it to put the pattern at measure five and measure six, etc. And the way we do this is we say four plus x. So we're making use of this index variable. The very first time we go through the loop, x is zero. So four plus zero is four. And so we're gonna put the first pattern at four. The next time we go through the loop, x is going to be 1 because of this incrementing, incrementing. And so 4 plus 1 is 5. So the second time through the loop, we're going to put this pattern at measure 5, and so on and so on. So let's run this and have a look at how it looks. All right, so now we can see in our DAW that this pattern has now actually repeated. And we can see it's repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight times, which is exactly what we specified, zero up to eight. So zero is the first one, one is the second, etc. cetera. Um, and so let's have, let's actually just have a quick listen to this, see how it sounds. Okay, so that's not bad, but we can actually do a little bit more with this for loop. We can actually change it and we can say maybe we don't want it to repeat quite that frequently. Maybe we want it to repeat and go on every other measure. And so we can say let's increment x by 2 each time we go through the loop. So x equals x plus 2. Oops, I got rid of the close brace. And let's run that and see what that looks like. So now we have the pattern. The first time x is 0, so we're going to put it at measure 4. The second time, x is going to be 2 because we increment x by 2. And so this time we're going to put, the next time we get in here, we're going to put the pattern at 4 plus 2, which is 6. So we put it at measure 6. So let's now have a listen to this and see how this sounds. So that sounds pretty good. I like that. Um, let's look at a different example where we have a beat pattern that is more than one measure long. So for now, I'm going to actually just comment out these lines right here. And let's look at down here. So here I have a 32 beat pattern. So this is twice as long. So it's actually two measures long. So let's uncomment that one and run it. Okay, so now we see we've got nothing on um, track three because we commented that stuff out. Track four has this R&B Moog lead um, sample pattern on it. And so let's go and have a look, listen to that. And this one starts at measure six. Okay. So now if we wanted to repeat this pattern, we again can create a for loop. So we'll do for, this time we'll do var y, we'll name it y. You can name your index variable, whatever you want, as long as you're consistent. So var y equals zero, um, y is less than, let's repeat this three times, but because it's two measures long, we're gonna go up until six. And then we're going to have to do y equals y plus 2. Um, actually, let's do y equals y plus 1 just so you can see what happens. <coughs> so if we run this, <coughs> it got overwritten. So that's not what we want. We change it to two. <coughs> oh, I see. We actually haven't changed our measure in here.
Okay, so now we can see that we've used a two measure long pattern and we've repeated it three times, but we had to increment by two because the, the pattern goes across two measures in order to get it spaced out properly. All right, so hopefully that shows you how to use the for loops to make beats repeat across a track.